The sidelines are going to look very different when you watch college football next year. Gone will be a bunch of dudes in neon shirts and red hats. Gone will be signs with all of your favorite memes of the last 10 years. What? You're asking, how will they get the play in? Well, the NCAA's Football Oversight Committee has approved allowing coach-to-helmet communication just like the NFL has had since 1994. Yeah, Connor Stallions is officially out of business now because you can talk to the player from the sideline. They're also going to allow some tablets where they can watch in-game video, which actually goes a little bit farther than the NFL rule. So gone are the days of seven signalers, three guys holding bed sheets, everybody wearing weird pastel colors. It's done. It's done. You're getting your sidelines back in college football. It's going to be a beautiful thing. There has been some pushback on this from folks who say, I don't want it to look just like the NFL. Well, that's just stupid because the NFL is the most popular sports league in America, and it does some things right. And one of the things it has gotten right for 30 years is allowing coaches to talk to the quarterback or talk to a player through the, on the defense through the helmet. And so that's what they're going to be allowed to do. The, the, the system will shut off with 15 seconds left on the play clock. You can still go fast. In fact, you might be able to go a little bit faster now, but you will not have all of those people on the sidelines. The people who can steal signs, well, they're, they're not going to like it. And that's really what was the delay here. It wasn't so much that people loved the idea of having all these people on the sidelines. What the defensive-minded head coaches wanted was the ability to steal signs, and this makes it very difficult. But common sense won out. Let's hear it from West Virginia coach Neil Brown. We talked to him a few weeks ago. He got to test this technology in the Duke's Mayo Bowl, and yeah, he came away very impressed. I just think if you look at our college sidelines, like they look like clown shows right now. Different color shirts, you know, a bunch of people, and and so the staffs have become so big, and there's people that are just designed to do that. You know, there's yeah. a, people have real systems. And so I think, man, we need to clean that up. And I've been a huge proponent of this probably for the last three years is the technology's there. It makes no sense for us not to be able to do it. The technology is there. It didn't make sense for them not to be able to do it. And that's why they're doing it. Now, another rule change that does make college football look more like the NFL, they've added a two-minute warning. Now, the conspiracy theorist in me says, Oh, of course. They took time out of the game by changing when the clock stops. Like if you go out of bounds before the last two minutes of a half, the clock keeps running. If you do it within the last two minutes of a half, it stops. Now, that matched up with the NFL. What they didn't do was add that two-minute warning timeout where you get another clock stoppage. My guess is this is a give back to the coaches who wanted that one more clock stoppage. Also, the conspiracy theorist in me goes, oh, you wanted another TV timeout. You wanted some more commercials. Now, Steve Shaw, who's the secretary rules editor for the NCAA, says it's not to add another commercial. Sure thing. Maybe not this year. I bet they add another commercial. But I do think this was probably a give back because coaches, you heard a few last year saying that with the new clock rules, it felt like the end of the game got away from them a little bit. So this does give one more stoppage. And it also says, okay, here's the point where now we're going back to what you were used to for all those years, where if you're going out of bounds, it's stopping the clock. So we'll see how that works. We'll see if it changes much. We'll see if they add a commercial. I think they're going to add commercials. We know how these people work. Also, other rules proposals that passed. A uniform proposal. This The, the way the NCAA release explains this is is kind of hilarious. In recent years, the committee has expressed concerns about the look of players' uniforms, specifically pants. Basically, they're tired of bike shorts. If you're one of the guys who wears bike shorts, who does not believe in knee pads, whose pants stop kind of mid-thigh, you're probably going to get flagged. You're going to have to wear pants that go past your knee. That doesn't seem that unreasonable, but... Not the headline, of course, but yeah, no more bike shorts either on the football field in college. No more neon polos, no more bike shorts. That about sums up the new rules. Also a two-minute warning. 
Thank you so much for watching. Just a reminder, subscribe to this channel right here so you never miss an episode of Andy Staples on 3. And oh, by the way, watch all the other great videos on the On3Sports YouTube channel.